All right. Just testing to see if the heat kicking on is too loud. So we'll see how this works. Got new puppies, so I'm kind of stuck at home. Got the Quest 3. Bought this game. Need to put some gas in the Jenny. Um, yeah, I got a bunch of stuff. Oh, I got some stuff. Uh, I got a sword. Yeah. Nah, anyway. Um, I've been playing, what is it, Population 1. But it's way too, uh, how can I say, Fortnite-y. Basically every game on VR is just a knockoff of a flat screen game because the flat screen game companies are making too much money on their flat screen games. So they don't want to invest in the VR. So like this game, Ghost of Tabor, is just Escape from Tarkov, but in VR. Made by a different company. Blah, blah, blah. So whatever you get, you keep <clears throat> or you sell it when you get back. But unlike other Battle Royale games, you just it's all the same guns. They're all the same options you win the game and you lose everything this game you get to keep all of your stuff as you can see i got a bunch of mags i need to empty for um, nine mil ammo extra parts empty mags sights for days scopes extra ammo powder you can make your own ammo reload your mags anyway pretty cool i like the fact that you get to keep your stuff um, this is what I run with, kind of naked, I guess. They, uh, have different strategies or strats, as they call them. Um, my strat is just a pistol with a silencer, if I can, you know, afford it. A couple rags, uh, nerfs, or whatever they call it, NRS. It's a jabby pin, and a grenade, and then, uh, I go in, and I play it like if it were real life, so everybody's like don't be a loot hog leave some loot for other people fuck you um if i see a gun that i don't like or want i will take the mag and put it in my bag or i'll chuck the mag one way and chuck the gun the other way like in the real world if the shit hits the fan and you're following me looking for loot you better be magnet fishing because i'm chucking shit i'm eating everything and yeet and yeet yeet i'm not getting shot in the back because i left a round and a gun and the guy behind me fucking finds it, pops me. Same with, like, uh, guys that come up because they don't have any ammo or they're just trying to be friendly. If they come up out of sight and they yell and start talking, hey, friendly, you know, I have no ammo, whatever, I'll give them a chance. As soon as my gut says, meh, I'm putting one in their nugget. However, the guys that come up and start shooting at you and then... <laughs> You either outgun them or they run out of ammo and they're like, oh, never mind, hands up, and they throw their... I'm blasting you right in the face, dude. I, once a fucking traitor, always a traitor. Don't care. Um, so there's the heat kicking on. Hopefully that's not too loud. Sell that. Give me that. And then uh, I'll jump in a game and show you guys uh, how I roll. Put this food away. Oop. Look at you. Alright. How's my shit looking? Alright, we're good. <clears throat> I'll try and speak up since the heat is on. Hopefully it's not too loud. And let's rock and roll. See what happens. <laughs> Doodly doo. <clears throat> also interested to see how much video recording affects battery. I do have a battery headset, luckily, so I'll keep an eye on it. Ah, fuck. Alright. around and then I'll fucking close the gap a little see if I hear any other people or sounds oh 
Perfect. Let them fight it out. Glad I didn't fire. me. See, like, this gun fucking sucks. If I take it... No. Oh, fuck! That's not good. What then? Grenade, maybe? Fuck. Alright. Don't need that. For a little while. Ah, fuck. Wonder if I got him with the grenade. Alright, good to know.